I read yeah. that um, when you and Pete met, you bonded over your love of recruiting. Is that true? You know, here's what happened. Um, this is a great story. I was recruiting a young man named Sean Cody, okay? And uh, Sean Cody's dad, Big Mike, wanted him to go to Notre Dame. And we didn't have a coach. I had been recruiting for two weeks with no coach. And people were looking at me like, what are you doing? I said, I'm recruiting. So you're recruiting for USC, no coach. No coach. For and future, Mike, yeah. Mike Garrett had told us, that, listen, if you want to stay with USC, go on the road and recruit. Well, obviously a lot of guys didn't. Some guys did. I was one that did, okay? So I'm going out on the road recruiting, and people are saying, you know, what are you doing? You know, and laughing at you. I said, hey, they fired, they fired the head coach. They didn't fire me yet. And they're going, yeah, right. So anyway, it's about two weeks, and uh, this is a great story. And uh, I'm watching uh, Sean Cody's state championship game. He was the USA Defensive Player of the Year. I went up to the stadium to shake Big Mike's hand. The mama and the grandma was there, and the coach from UCLA was to the left. The coach from uh, Notre Dame was to the right. I went to shake Big Mike's hand. He says, hey, coach, I'm sorry. My son is not going to USC. You don't have a coach, and I don't even know if you have a job. <laughs> and then, obviously, the guy from UCLA and the guy from Notre Dame started laughing. Mm -hmm. I looked at Mike, and I said, I'm going to coach at USC as long as I want. I'm going to coach your son. So I left. It was about halftime. I said, you know what? I ought to go up there and give those guys a piece of my mind. I said, you know what? Not a good idea. Yeah. So I'm going home. If you guys are in Los Angeles, I'm going down the 714 Highway. Freeway, I'm going to uh, Lisa Ville in my hometown. And my friend Barry Sher calls me. He says, Coach, what are you doing? You know, in California, they have several state championships. I said, I'm on my way home from the state championship. I said, hey, you ought to come to Anaheim Stadium. I looked 100 feet. There's the sign to Anaheim Stadium. I said, I'm coming. I go there. It's about 10 o'clock on a Saturday night. Barry Sher, my friend, gives me a sideline pass to go on the sideline. It's 1030. It's foggy. I'm watching, I believe it was Loyola versus Long Beach Poly. They had the five great juniors. I knew every one of them. Guess who walks up to me? Pete Carroll. I got my USC stuff on. He says, Coach, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, I'm recruiting. He goes, for who? I said, USC. He says, you know these players out here? I said, yeah, there's Manuel Wright. You know, there's Herschel Dennis. And I was talking about all the players. And I looked at him. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm going to be named the head coach at USC on Monday. I said, <laughs> really? I said, okay, good. I said, uh, well, coach, I'm going to be in some schools on Monday morning. I'm going to get you on the phone with some recruits. We're going to call the recruits, and here we go. So he says, okay. He said, here's my number. Don't tell nobody I'm in town. I said, all right. And he never told me he was going to get a job or nothing. So I go to Sean Cody's school on Monday. I get coach on the phone with him. He's going to be the first guy to talk to Sean Cody, all that stuff. And uh, – so he said, hey, Eddie, what are you doing at 2 o'clock? I got to my press conference. I said, Coach, I'll be there. So I go to the press conference. He does all this stuff, and he said, he meets with the staff. And I'm sitting in a corner, and he goes, you know, guys, I'm a lot of good coaches on the staff, but I'm going to start with you. I'm not keeping anybody. And I went, are you kidding me? And I walk out, he goes, all except you, Eddie. Let's get to work. Oh, <laughs> man. That's uh, and then, then we, started, we started recruiting together. Mm -hmm. uh, Sean Cody was the USA Defensive Player of the Year. He came to USA. Me and Big Mike became best friends. That's grit yeah. right there. Yeah, that's it grit. Yeah. That's grit. It turned it around. Yeah. That's a good lesson. Yeah. If, you, if you just keep doing a job, it's a lot harder to yeah. get fired from. Yeah. yeah.